Hello YouTube and welcome to Farming Simulator 15. Uh, my copy arrived two days through the post. Um, I know a lot of you have already played the game and um, it's been quite quick to um, to get used to. Um, they've made the controls nice and simple and um, overall I'm really impressed with the game. But um, today I have a brand new first of 2015 um, mod blog episode so I'm gonna jump in our truck so um, I'm on the remade Westbridge Hills map just as my uh, mod test map um, that probably will change as uh, new mods come out but today the first mod of the series is a baler um, here it is. It's the Coon um, Baler. Um, it looks really nice. We'll just look at it in the shop first. So I've just got to get used to this uh, interface. So here it is. Um, it will cost seven hundred. No, seventy. 8,000 euros um, I know you can change the money values on here um, to maintain each day 170 euros and um, it will accept fruit types grass and straw um, the required power is 90 horsepower now that is uh, quite important to some of you who may not know um, if you have a tractor um, under the horsepower requirement um, it will not function um, efficiently or it won't function at all um, so we'll come out the shop and have a quick look around so I got this off mod hub um, the link is in the description for this um, it looks really nice there's obviously no no clip whatsoever as um, Giants produced um, this mod so it looks like it's come with some weathering patterns on it already um, all the worn stickers really high resolution and um, yeah it looks really nice so I've got a new Holland uh, with a front loader so hook up no problem PTO looks good. So I did start the harvester off on the field just before the video. And uh, hopefully there's some uh, straw to collect for us to test this. And I did cut a red grass as well. And um, We'll see how it handles. Okay, so we've got the help menu on the left hand side, so lower pickup, turn on, and off we go. So we've got a nice little particle system and uh, you can see in the bottom right hand corner we can go 24 um, miles an hour no problem and uh, you can see the litres or capacity in the corner stacking up we're on 62% We've got nice sand, cast one's getting full. So it has a capacity of 4,000 and to unload it is O. So you can see all the belts uh, spinning around inside. 
and our, our bales running away. So I'll just test the indicators and lights, they all seem to work nicely. So we'll have a look at the bale texture, but um, as uh, Giants produced this mod, I should think they will be similar to the in-game. So it has a, a lot of weight to it. Uh, texture looks really nice. And um, we'll just see how it handles. I'll just come at it from a, uh, a better angle. So yeah, it's got nice physics to it, there's no way that's going to come from the forks when loading. So yeah, it looks to be uh, really nice. So um, like I say, I did cut a, a row of grass um, on the side of this field. And um, we'll just have a look at the grass texture. And I did bring up the in-game Ursus um, bale wrapper just to uh, test to see if these bales are wrappable. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, so this baler isn't accepting um, grass, meaning um, we would have to run the tether over to uh, create hay. So um, I'll just grab a tether and um, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and got the tether to dry the grass and just windrowed it up into one... Um, untidy pile um, hopefully will be enough to get a bale out and um, then we'll test to see if these bales are compatible with the in-game versus bale wrapper for your silage so um, I'd just like to say thanks for all the support on the channel um, the likes, comments and subscriptions uh, really do help and uh, I hope you enjoy my videos because I make them um, mainly because I enjoy them and because um, I want to or want to showcase um, mods and farm sim so thanks for that and um, I will be trying to keep up to date with the latest mods as much as I can so um, thanks for that okay So we've unloaded the dry grass. It looks a similar colour to um, the straw. But um, I will just jump into the bale wrapper and um, hopefully it'll work. Okay, so this bale is not compatible um, with the bale wrapper. Just to uh, make sure, I will just check the straw bale, but um, I think the case with this is um, the bales are too small. And I, I just um, forgotten that I left the bale on the front loader, sorry about that, my mistake.
Um, we'll just test the, this bale. And uh, like I said, this bale isn't supported. So um, it's a little bit of a shame that um, these bales aren't able to be wrapped. But nonetheless, it's a, a really nice um, small baler for the farm. Um, I'd recommend it with straw bales. So yeah, if you want to download this for your game, the link will be in the description for a di direct uh, download. Um, and um, I hope you've enjoyed the first Farm Simulator 15 mod blog video. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.